Welcome to this video. Markers and Groups. I hereby sum up markers and groups that were significant in populating Africa etc., as well as in the formation of black skin in Africa etc. D, E, D, and the youngest, but in Africa important, E. Important here is that all these are the so-called YAP markers and carried by YAP groups, and that they also can be markers for black skin. Haplogroup DE, YDNA, Wikipedia. All people that present black skin carry YAP markers, but not all people that carry YAP markers present black skin. These YAP and black skin markers are not carried by any other groups than the above YAP groups. At this point I claim that all in this video is very much simplified and resumed. This said, maybe you can think of it like a switch in the YAP groups that decides whether a group or a person presents black skin or not. Einstein and Mandela are both of the here discussed group E that presents the YAP marker, but one is considered presenting a more white skin and the other is considered presenting a more black skin. Haplogroup E, YDNA, Wikimedia. In the former video we saw that D which is the earliest of these YAP groups and YAP markers is still predominant in Japan and Andaman Islands and Tibet, with D being more predominant in Japan and Andaman Islands and Tibet than in any other place in the world. Haplogroup D, YDNA, Wikipedia. These YAP groups and markers in Japan and Andaman Islands are rather logical when departing from an out-of-America hypothesis because the very dominant currents and winds will force all Native American descendants that were navigating on the west coast of the Americas to Oceania and after Oceania also to Japan and Andaman Islands, and the YAP groups and markers obviously are amongst them. Austronesian Expansion Austronesia with hypothetical greatest expansion extent, Blench, 2009. The same for many other places, like at the end also Africa. These groups and markers, as well as the currents and winds that associate well with the Austronesian expansion, and also explain well the area that is defined as the Austronesian expansion. Major rivers with tributaries in the Tibetan Plateau, Reddit. It is possible that Japan, together with Andaman Islands, was simply very important for the expanding Native Americans with these markers, because when departing from Japan and Andaman Islands, they could easily enter important rivers like the Yellow River, Yangtze River and Amur River, and Irrawaddy River in Myanmar, which were important in the population of what is now China, Mongolia, Myanmar and especially Tibet with D. Exploiting Shangri-La, Assessing the Tibetan Plateau's Natural Resources and the Work of Carl Witt Fogel, ResearchGate. Amuravar Map Onan, River, Wikipedia. Further through the Amur River, by Kal Lake, Yellow River and probably Mongols, the descendants of Native Americans spread out yet another, also, Native American fundamental marker named the Diego Blood Group System. The radial expansion of the Diego Blood Group System polymorphisms in Asia, Mark of Comigration with the Mongol Conquests, Nature, 2018. All this explains relatively well the fact of predominance of the above YAP groups and markers in Japan and Andaman Islands, and later also in Africa for more or less the same reasons. Since the black skin markers traveled west to Africa through this Austronesian expansion area, this also explains the presence of black skin an important part of those that carry the above black skin markers in the Austronesian expansion area, and this all the way from Oceania, and possibly the Americas, to Africa, but also in locations seemingly extreme far away as Hawaii. Austronesia with hypothetical greatest expansion extent, Blench, 2009. Overland. Predominance in Japan and Andaman Islands is impossible or quite a paradigm when departing from an out of Africa hypothesis, because if migration had been overland, this migration should have left more important traces and markers already between Africa and Japan, apart from it being highly improbable for Africans or anyone else to have migrated overland non-stop from Africa to Japan. Also and especially because Japan is an island since at least 11,000 years and again during earlier. Interglacials. If dispersion had been overland from Africa eastwards to Tibet, Japan, etc., 
We should have expected a fluid core from Africa until Tibet and Japan, however what we see are patches that progress in the opposite direction from east to west, that starts with the associated Native American DNA Q and evolves to C, D and when arriving in Africa to E. This forms the core of a massive movement westward over all continents. Q core on the right, relative east, to C core and D patch, relative center, to E patches forming a new core, relative west. The arrival of E in Africa comes probably at the cost of the probable present A and B, and possibly earlier Austronesian and Native American DNA. World Map of Y-DNA Haplogroups, Wikipedia Haplogroup Q, Y-DNA, Wikimedia, and Haplogroup C1A, Wikipedia. Just as an example, Q and a subgroup of C were and still are giant fluid cores dispersing out of their roots which are in the Americas in the direction of Eurasia and Africa at the end. Over C. Since over land there are large of continental size regions without these groups and markers, and also since Japan must have been an island for at least 11,000 years, we must consider migration by sea. Predominance in Japan, and Tibet, is impossible or quite a paradigm when departing from an out-of-Africa hypothesis, this also by sea, this because the currents and winds would systematically force back to Africa any descendants or migrants trying to expand out of Africa to the east over sea, leaving them without realistic chances to reach Japan so early and predominantly as well as to reach all people with these markers which cover a quite substantial area of the order of magnitude of half of the planet. Migration over land, or by sea, cannot explain the early presence and predominance of supposed African markers in Japan, Myanmar and Tibet, and explain even less the people presenting black skin all the way from Oceania to Africa and certainly to Hawaii and possibly the Americas. Why DNA MS and Austronesian DNA? Why DNA MS and obviously Austronesian DNA is very much associated with the same Austronesian expansion from Oceania up to Africa or even from the Americas up to Africa. Haplogroup MS, Wikimedia. This strong association could explain well the predominance of the presence of black skin amongst Austronesians like for example indigenous Australians and could also explain the migration of C, D and E in the direction of Africa. I added C to the list because D and E are supposed to have risen from C, and while C has its root in the Americas, C is also observed on the coasts between the Americas and Africa like also the Middle East coasts. Predominance of black skin so early on in Austronesians and in peoples with Y-DNA MS is impossible or quite a paradigm when departing from an out-of-Africa hypothesis, for already above-mentioned reasons but especially because the currents and winds will force back to Africa without chance to reach the whole of the Austronesian expansion region that includes Australia, Papua New Guinea but especially Oceania that also includes Easter Island and Hawaii. Native American DNA Ancient Native American DNA is registered in indigenous people in islands of all sizes in and around the Austronesian expansion region, including Oceanian Islands, Australia, Tonga, Tongan, Papua New Guinea, Taiwan, Ami, Philippines, Mamanwa, Andaman, Anj, India and Africa and this also in people that present black skin. Genetic evidence for two founding populations of the Americas, ResearchGate. Indigenous peoples in South America and Australia linked. This particular study shows evidence that typical present-day Austronesian populations as far as in Oceania, Australia and Southeast Asia carry DNA similar to fossil Native Americans from the Amazon region. It is obvious that there is other evidence that Austronesian populations reached as far as the Persian Gulf and Madagascar. The fundamentals and further evidence rather similar to the evidence in this video on its turn proves that these Austronesian populations are descendants of Native Americans from the Amazon region, who have their populations also marked up in red in the presented figure. There are other publications and evidence that indicate that even in Africa fossils were found of peoples that preceded the African haplogroups A, B and L, that also present Austronesians morphologies, this well on its turn that people and fossils with Austronesian morphologies present DNA that descended from Native Americans from the Amazon region. 
There are problems explaining the early presence of certain Southeast Asian food crops on the West African coast. These are, the plantain or triploid banana, AAB, the water yam, Dioscoria esculenta, the cocoa yam, Colocasia esculenta, Phytolith evidence places the plantain in Cameroon ca. 500 BC, Mbida et al. 2000. For the other two, the evidence is that their greatest genetic diversity is in West Africa and they are hardly used in East Africa. These species are not native to Africa, cannot have spread across the continent in historical times and are not Portuguese introductions. Certain crops seem to have been well established in West Africa by the time of the first European contacts with the coast, Blanche 1996. There are similar problems explaining the early presence of certain American food crops in Oceania. This video presents only one particular westwards route that is associated with the Austronesian expansion region, that in its longest part, which is the Pacific part, forces westwards all its navigators by the dominant Pacific westwards currents and winds, and that was used by the Native Americans to populate all other continent and this including Africa. Other videos and similar hard evidence prove the same for other routes used by Native Americans to populate the world, and one of these routes, the North Atlantic route, populated Europe and this until as recent as 4,000 years ago. Thank you for watching. Bye. Source of the figures. Haplogroup E, YDNA, Wikimedia. Haplogroup D, YDNA, Wikipedia. Haplogroup DE, YDNA, Wikipedia. Austronesia with hypothetical greatest expansion extent, Blench, 2009, Wikimedia. OC, major rivers with tributaries in the Tibetan Plateau, Reddit. Amuravar map Onan, River, Wikipedia. Exploiting Shangri-La, assessing the Tibetan Plateau's natural resources and the work of Carl Witt Fogel, ResearchGate. The radial expansion of the Diego blood group system polymorphisms in Asia, mark of co-migration with the Mongol conquests, Nature, 2018, Austronesia with hypothetical greatest expansion extent, Blench, 2009. World map of YDNA haplogroups, Wikipedia. Haplogroup Q, YDNA, Wikimedia. Haplogroup C1A, YDNA, Wikipedia. Genetic evidence for two founding populations of the Americas, ResearchGate. Indigenous peoples in South America and Australia linked. Pontus Skoglund slash Harvard Medical School slash Nature. Haplogroup MS, Wikimedia. YDNA haplogroup R and some of its migration routes out of the Americas. This image is a modification of an initial image, but I cannot find the author or source of the initial image. End.